Jim. Um, this is our Rogue One TK kit, uh, parts of it anyway, and I thought I'd show you guys some of the properties of the material we use, which is a flexible fiberglass. So like I said, this is cast in a flexible fiberglass. Um, and the advantages of that is, uh, first of all, you can get these really sharp details that you can't really get with vacuum forming, unless you have a negative mold. See, very sharp details, edges and lines. Also, of course, because this is cast and pre-sanded and everything, it's, it comes smooth, comes clean, cleaned up, comes pre-trimmed, so there are no print lines, you don't have to sand it, it comes pre-sanded already, you can go straight to primer and go straight to paint. See? Like I said, this is a flexible fiberglass, so for those of you um, worried about sizing, it's flexible. So um, this, is, um, this is molded around um, an, uh, the world average, or a little bigger. So average height, average, uh, average uh, size, but there's a lot of allowance uh, um, designed into the pieces so that those of you who are smaller can just, you know, overlap and have a smaller piece. Those of you who are bigger can, ha can uh, expand it and it'll fit bigger people. Our kit comes um, usually uh, partially assembled. So like for this thigh piece, it comes in one assembled piece. So if this fits you out of the box, just go straight to rigging and it's good to go. If you need to make it smaller, you can cut here in the back and overlap. If you need to make it bigger, uh, you can cut here and add, add shimming. You can also cut in front if you need more, uh, more girth. But uh, I don't think so. Most of mo this fits most people. Yeah. So the material, the flexible material, will allow for it. So, um, like I said, this is flexible fiberglass. So it's it's actually very durable. It won't crack when you when it falls on the floor, like resin or some 3D prints, you know. It's it's bendy. It won't uh, warp under sunlight. And so, that's why I love this material so much. I mean, I have three 3D, 3D printers. I have uh, a vacuum form machine. But I, this is still my go-to material for kits and for, for armor, for my personal kits. Uh, this is our... R1 helmet. As you can see, it has all the molded details, the added, supposedly added plates of these details. You can paint around them to accentuate the the seams if you want. The mouth has the correct deep uh, jowls that make it look like a separate piece. The vocoder is cast separately and uh, made to look like the tubes that they're supposed to. There's uh, The trim is molded in, just painted black. Admittedly, what this doesn't have is that annoying bump on the right eye. Never liked that. And uh, in my head canon, you know, these are all supposed to be symmetrical. This is this currently. I think this is still approvable for level one. I'm not sure if that's going to change. Uh, I know that the the bump detail is there, uh, is out there, and I think they're planning some changes to the CRL. I'm hoping that's just a level two or level three requirement because um, you know, I didn't notice it at first. I'm pretty meticulous and I, I didn't notice it. I thought, wow, a symmetrical Stormtrooper helmet and I was ecstatic because you'd never get me to wear the wonky ones, no matter how screen accurate. So, but it's easy to add the bump just uh, with some epoxy sculpt or, or whatever sculpting material. You can just stick it on there, blend it in, and it'll be fine. 
So this is our R1 TK, that's it.